So recently, we got some sneak peeks for version 4.6. These early leaks give us a good look at the new character, story content, a fresh new map, events, artifacts, and more. But in this video, we'll talk mainly about the banners, which is probably why you clicked on this video. Before, people thought Arlequino, Liney, Furina, and Alhatham would get banners in version 4.6. But things have changed big time now. And when I say changed big time, I mean it. We already know that Arlequino is pretty much confirmed to get a banner in version 4.6. We already saw everything about her, including her gameplay, kit, playstyle, weapon, and more. And oh boy, does her animations look good. Especially her idol animations, the one she sits on a red chair and the glitch one. If you want to see more about her gameplay, it's all over Twitter. I can't really post it here since Mihoyo might just bonk me on the head. But anyways, as I was saying, Arlequino is 100% confirmed in version 4.6, and she is the only confirmed new character. They also mentioned a character named Sethos. She could be the mummy girl. I don't know if she will also be featured in this patch. But anyways, if you want Arlequino, you better start saving up for her. We still don't know which phase she will appear as for now. The rumors about Sino getting a second story quest in version 4.6 are indeed true. This has been confirmed through the 4.6 beta. Since Sino is getting a story quest in version 4.6, he will also be featured in the banners. I understand it might seem too soon for him to make a comeback, but let's recall Alhatham's case. He debuted in version 3.4 and had a banner in version 3.7, appearing two patches after his release. So, it's believable that Sino could get a banner in 4.6. Liney is another character rumored to have a banner in this patch. While there's no confirmation about Liney yet, his major role in Arlequino's story quest hints at a possible rerun in 4.6. After all, why not just rerun him alongside his father, right? Additionally, Liney was initially released in version 4.0, so seeing him rerun now isn't surprising, especially considering his connection with Arlequino. As for the last character who might receive a banner in 4.6, it remains unknown. You might wonder why I'm uncertain, especially considering that Archons typically rerun four patches after their initial release. However, I have some unfortunate news to share. Furina is not going to receive a second story quest in version 4.6. This means we might, remember I said might, not see her in this patch. If you've completed the Fontaine Archon quest, you likely understand why she might not rerun in this patch. I won't dive into details to avoid spoilers for those who haven't finished the Archon quests yet. So yes, according to the beta, Furina won't have a second story quest in version 4.6. Now who will be the last character to potentially receive a banner? Since there won't be a Sumeru event in version 4.6, we can expect either Alhaitham or Nilu to make a comeback. I said that because if there were to be a Sumeru event, the chronicled banner would likely showcase characters from Sumeru. However, since we're not getting a Sumeru event, we can expect the return of characters like Alhaitham or Nilo. There have been numerous rumors about them getting a banner in 4.6, and as we've seen with Sino, some rumors do come true. So, expect one of them to receive a banner in version 4.6. For the chronicled banner, considering the upcoming big Inazuma event, we can anticipate characters such as Ayaka, Ayato, Yae, Yoimiya, Kazuha, Kokomi, Ito, and their associated weapons. In this banner, there won't be a standard banner character, making it a win-win situation for players. Just imagine saying, I lost my 50-50 to Kazuha. It would be funny, so what do you think? Who will you pull for in version 4.6? Let me know down in the comments below. Until next time.